Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And now, let me introduce a man who's best described as the complete entertainer. He is a, a singer, a songwriter, an impressionist, a comic, and an actor. He is also one of Australia's top talents and has appeared everywhere. So here he is now to pay a tribute to one of the greatest musicals of our time, Camelot. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Barry Crocker. In 1961, Broadway audiences were taken back to the days of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table in a sumptuous musical called Camelot. It was written by Lerner and Lowe and it starred Richard Burton, Julie Andrews and Robert Goulet. The show was an immediate success for people because it told about a land full of hope and idealism where everything was just that one step better than perfect. It's true. It's true. The crown has made it clear. The climate must be perfect all the year. A law was made in distant moon ago here. July and August cannot be too hot. And there's a legal limit to the snow here in Camelot. The winter is forbidden till December. And exits March the second on the dot. By the summer lingers through September in Camelot. Camelot, Camelot. I know it sounds a bit bizarre, but in Camelot, Camelot, that's how conditions are. The rain must never fall till after sundown. By eight, the morning fog must disappear. In short, there's simply not a more congenial spot or happily ever after in than here in Camelot. Camelot. King Arthur was looked upon to be a great dreamer devoted to his ideals of chivalry and equality and also devoted to his lovely queen, Guinevere. Merlin the magician had taught Arthur to be a great hunter, a fisherman, a thinker, and a ruler. But there was one thing he had yet to learn, and that was how to deal with Guinevere. How to handle a woman. There's a way, said the wise old man, a way known by every woman since the whole rigmarole began. Do I flatter her, I beg him answer? Do I threaten off a jewel or plead? Do I brood or play the gay romancer? Said he smiling, no indeed. How to handle a woman? Mark me well, I will tell you, sir. The way to handle a woman is to love her, simply love her, meanly love her, love her, arrives in Camelot and rivals Arthur for the affections of Guinevere. He promises her the passionate kind of love that Arthur cannot, and as if by fate they become secret lovers. And Lancelot woos Guinevere with this beautiful song. If ever I would leave you, it wouldn't be in summer. Seeing you in summer, Street 
King Arthur finds out that his wife and his best friend are lovers and has no other choice but to arrest the Queen according to the very laws that he'd fought so hard to implement. Lancelot rescues Guinevere from the flames and it's then that Arthur declares war upon his rival. This, of course, spells the end of Camelot. King Arthur is in the battlefield at dawn when he's approached by a young boy, Tom of Warwick, who asks if he can fight in the battle because he's heard about all the wondrous knights of the Round Table and the marvellous laws of Camelot. King Arthur asks him not to fight, but to go forth and tell as many people as possible about the impossible dream that always became a reality. He looks down at the boy and he says, You're my future, Tom. You're what we all are. Less than a drop in the vast blue motion of the sunlit sea. But it seems some of the drops sparkle, Tom. Some of them do sparkle. Each evening from December to December. Before you fall asleep upon your cot, think back on all the tales that you remember of Camelot. Ask every person if he's heard the story. And tell it strong and clear if he is not. Don't let it be forgot that once there was a spot for one brief shining moment that was known as Cal. 